Welcome back to Mental Math. This infinite expression has been haunting calculus students for centuries. But here's the twist. Infinity actually makes this easier to solve, not harder. I'm going to show you how an endless spiral can collapse into a single number using one of the most elegant tricks in mathematics. Before we dive into solving, let's analyze the structure. This step gets skipped a lot, but it's actually crucial. First thing to notice, the left side is a principal square root. Principal square roots are always non-negative. Since the left side must be non-negative, x must also be non-negative. So our first constraint is x greater than or equal to zero. Second, for the radicals to be well-defined, the terms inside must be non-negative. But since we already know x is non-negative, we're good. Now let's use the infinite nature of this thing to find our solutions. Here's the key insight. This expression is self-similar. The infinite part inside looks identical to the whole thing. Since we define the entire expression to equal x, that inner repeating part must also equal x. This is one of the most elegant moves in mathematics, using infinity's self-similarity against itself. This lets us make a substitution. Watch how infinity just vanishes. The infinite radical collapses into something beautifully simple. Square root of x plus x equals x. Adding the terms gives square root of 2x equals x. To get rid of the square root, we square both sides. This gives us 2x equals x squared. Let's rearrange this into standard quadratic form by moving 2x to the right side. So we have 0 equals x squared minus 2x. An infinite tower reduced to finite algebra. That's the power of self-similarity. We can solve this by factoring. Pull out the common x. In factored form, for the product to be 0, one of the factors must be 0. This gives two candidates, x equals 0 or x equals 2. Both satisfy our initial constraint that x must be non-negative. When we squared both sides, we may have created phantom solutions, numbers that satisfy the squared equation but not the original. This is where most people stop and get it wrong. We need to check if our solutions are real or ghosts. Let's start with x equals 2. Will it survive the test? When x is 2, let's call the value of the left side y. Because of self-similarity, y equals the square root of 2 plus y. Squaring gives us a quadratic. Factoring this, we need two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and add to negative 1. Those are negative 2 and positive 1. This gives two possibilities for y. But y is a principal square root, so it can't be negative. The infinite radical evaluates to exactly 2. The original equation becomes 2 equals 2, which checks out. Now the moment of truth for x equals 0. This one looks too simple to be real. Plugging in 0 simplifies things really fast. Everything becomes square root of 0, which is 0. 0 equals 0 is true. Even the trivial solution survives. That's actually rare. Both candidates made it through. Remember when I said infinity makes this easier? This is what I meant. The infinite nesting forced the expression to equal itself, giving us the substitution that unlocked everything. We've done the hard work, found two candidates, and put them through the verification gauntlet. Here's what survived. Both candidates check out. The solutions are x equals 0 and x equals 2. Thanks for watching. The self-similarity trick is one of those beautiful moments where infinity becomes your friend instead of your enemy. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe for more problems that look impossible until you find the right angle. See you next time.